Just going on do's and do that's yes, another fantasy football Wednesday, but it does come at a defeat uh, to who was it? Me Machine, a guy who is in eighth place now after that win. I only moved down to third, but yeah, kind of sucks because it was only by less than a point. Uh, Cam Newton finally came back, did pretty well. He met his average 25. Cooper barely went over his average, but it took him like more than three quarters to get there. Juju still struggling. Don't know what the hell's going on with him. He was one of my top guys coming in. But yeah, I just don't know. Uh, both my running backs did, did okay. They could have done better. But yeah, the freaking tight end position is horrible just because... This was an easy game for him, yet he got zero points. Trusted the rookie in Gibson for Washington, but didn't really do much against a crappy Giants team. Uh, Mostert was doing well until he freaking went out with an injury, and now I believe he's on IR as well. So once again, another one of my running backs on IR, but whatever. And yeah, Edelman didn't do anything. Minshew had less points than Cam yeah, Newton. So I got those guys on IR, and yeah, I picked up a different kicker, Ryan Suckup of Tampa Bay. And he got six points, or around six points more than what he was supposed to, which is good for me. And of course, the defense that I had to choose between Rams or the Giants defense. And if I would have woken up on time, I would have switched it to the Giants. And of course, I didn't. And this is what I get for it. I get zero points. So two people on my team getting zero points and I lose by less than a point that is fantasy football in a nutshell so let's get into a deeper look at how I freaking lost so yeah weekly grade C I think I was projected like 142 as it says and he was projected 131 I was supposed to beat him no matter what but of course when two of your people don't even get points that's what freaking happens and weekly grade a C which ain't great uh, yeah, pretty much neck and neck the whole entire time. Up and down, I was up for even a little bit on Sunday night, but Monday officially came to the end. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just going to talk about how a lot of my guys underperformed, which sucks. Cam Newton, Amari Cooper, Robinson, and I think if your kicker is your top four in points, then you definitely did something wrong. But yeah, talk about the kicker, and yeah, Gronkowski kind of went off, which was awkward and weird, because should not have happened, but I won a quarterback, he killed me in running backs, uh, I won a receiver, no, I'm sorry, it's opposite, I lost in quarterback, I killed in running back. I lost in receivers, definitely lost in tight ends, barely won a kickers, and definitely lost in defense. Says he would have only beaten one team besides me this week. That just shows how badly my other shizzle is. I would have lost to seven other teams, which is crazy. <laughs> it says his team would be one in five if they played me every week, so that's what happens. What like I said, this last week, especially the last two weeks, have been really weird. Yeah, sucks. What do they say about me? You can't win them all. The ex presidents get over that losing feeling by competing in other fantasy ball games. Yeah, great. No real support there, but whatever. Yes, we'll do a better week this week. Get on the winning side of things again, and hopefully. Head on to, well, we're about halfway there to the playoffs, so yeah. Definitely got to hope some guys make some dumb trades so I benefit later in the year. Let's go.